Hello students, welcome to Kirkan Digital Teaching System. I am your math teacher and today we are learning compound scaling. So before we start our topic, I would like to advise students for effective learning and takes maximum benefits from Kirkan Digital Learning. So like and subscribe to our school channel so don't miss any video. May watch multiple times video till find out the answers. So let's start our question and the question is we have given five values universal A, B, C and D. Universal have value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. A has value 0, 1, 2, 3. B has value 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. C has value 5, 6, 7, and 8. Then D has value 2, 4, 6, and 8. So with the help of these values, we can solve these questions like A union B, A union D, intersection B, etc. So let's start our question. And the question is A union B. So before we start this question, I would like to define union. So what is union? In union, we can write both values together in the form of one set. Means we have question A union B. So we can write the value of A and value of B together in the form of one set. So A has value 0, 1, 2, 3 and B has value 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So A union B has value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this is the final solution of A union B. Next part of this question B union C. So B has value 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and C has value 5, 6, 7 and 8. So B union C has value 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Next part of this question C union D. So C has value 5, 6, 7 and 8 and D has value 2, 4, 6 and 8. So again we can write these values together in the form of one set. C unit D has value 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, and this is the final solution of C unit D. Next part of this question is complement. So, what we can do with complement? So, in complement, we can subtract universal to given character. So, here we can solve A complement. So, in A complement, we can subtract universal minus A. So, universal has value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 and A has value 0, 1, 2 and 3. So simply we can subtract uh, universal to A. So 0, 1, 2 and 3 are subtracted then the remaining answer is our answer. So remaining values are 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So this is the final solution of A complement. So B complement. B complement we can solve universal minus B. So universal has value 0 to 8 and B has value 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So again we can subtract universal to B. So our remaining answer is 0, 1, 7 and 8 and this is the final solution of B complement. Next part of this question C complement. So in C complement again we can subtract universal to C. Then universal has value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and C has value 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, 5, 6, 7 and 8 are subtracted from uh, each other. So the C complement has value 0, 1, 2, 3 and 2. So this is the final solution of C complement. Next part of this question A upon B. So in A to B, we can cut the same values and write the remaining values of set 1. Means we have question A upon B. So we can cut the same values like 2 and 3. 2 and 3 are present in both sets. So we can cut this and write the remaining value of set A. So our final solution is 0 and 1. Next part of this question C upon D. So again we can cut the same values and write the remaining values of set 1. So C has value 5, 6, 7 and 8 and D has value 2, 4, 6 and 8. So 6 and 8 are common so we can cut both values and remaining values of C set are 5 and 7. So students hope you enjoyed and learned the basic concepts. Don't forget to find out the answer and write the answer in a copy within 24 hours to maintain your summer vacation learning as 10 marks included in your final term assessment. Hope to see you in next topic. Thank you.